Hello beautiful people, it's Mizko here and today we're going to create some really beautiful, crispy, transparent, glistening type glass morphism cards in this video and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do that but I'm also going to drop you guys a very secret, very very secret one, don't tell anyone about this, a website that will give you six free resources every single day and we're going to grab one of those resources and use it in this tutorial if you want to follow along. So let's get right into it. Now guys, thedesignship.com. If you haven't checked out this website before, you have to check it out. And you have to check it out because it's actually one of my websites. But I have a really hard working team working on this every single day. And we share six resources for you to help you elevate, to help make your process simpler, and to make you become a better designer. So what I want you guys to do is, if you want to follow along in this design tutorial, head over to thedesignship.com, head over to freebies, and then you can find a gradient resource, not gradient, I haven't used that one just yet, but not, not cool hue, but if you just search mesh gradients over here, click on mesh gradients, and you will find that there is a free mesh gradient collection. Now view the site, and from here, you can pick any gradient that you want to use in this tutorial. So I'm gonna quick, uh, pick one, I'm, I'm gonna select this one, and I'm gonna hit copy image, and then I'm gonna head over to my Figma, hit, hit F on my keyboard, put down a canvas, a frame, and then I'm gonna paste my gradient in here. So hopefully you guys are following along right now. And if you appreciate that free resource and that collection, make sure to gently smash that like button, guys. All right, guys, let's get into it. We are going to create that beautiful glass morphism effect. So hit R on your keyboard drag and make a rectangle that looks like a credit card. I think mine looks a little bit stubby. So let's just round those numbers off, 450 by 280 potentially. Now let's just center that perfectly. You can either click on these little nodes to bring in the border radius or you can adjust it over here. So let's just round it off to 20. Now let's click on our fill, change it from solid to linear, change the direction of this gradient. Whoops, let me just Grab that, there we go. No, it's being a bit disobedient today. So here we go. Click on the first, click on the starting point of the gradients, change it to white, change the other end, change the end point to white, and let's set the starting point to around 60%. And feel free to play around with this. There's no one way to doing this. And then set the end point to around, let's say, 20%. So you get a bit of that nice transparent look on this card already. So that's looking quite nice. Then what we wanna do is we wanna add a stroke to this. So head over to stroke in your design panel, hit the plus, change the black to a white, and you can see that we already have a nice little glisten around the card. Maybe a little bit too strong, so let's turn that down to potentially 20%. And you can see you have a nice little glisten around there. You can maybe bump it up to maybe 30% if you want as well. Now, there we go. So then, what's the third thing that we're gonna do? What we wanna do is we wanna now like add a bit of that blurry effect when this card is on top of some sort of element. So you can see in this gradient, there is a bit of a sharp curve here. So if we move this over, nothing really happens. But what happens if we add a effect and then we change drop shadow to background blur and we change this to around 20%. So the blur will actually blur the background, as you can see right there. Can you see that? Beautiful. That's exactly what we want, guys. Um, so move that back up, and then what we might want to do is also add a bit of a shadow. So head over, click on your rectangle, click on the plus icon under effects, make the drop shadow, let's have a play around with this. Let's make the blur 20, let's make the Y axis maybe around 20 as well. And then let's make the opacity, let's say 5%. We can even make the blur maybe 40, just make it a nice boom type of shadow. Yeah, there we go, it looks beautiful right there. So that's pretty much it, but there is still one little trick that I'm gonna show with you guys. If you wanna create some sort of credit card looking effect and you wanna put some text onto it, how do you make it not look, look flat? So let's hit T on our keyboard. Let's put in whatever text we want here. Let's say the credit card is for Mizco Media. All right. Let's change the fill of the text color to white. And you can see it looks a little bit flat. What can we do? So if the light source is coming in from the top left, 
where should the shadows be? Pretty much down below the Mizco Media. It should sort of offset a little bit of a shadow. So what we are going to do is let's go to effects, hit the plus icon, hit the drop shadow. Let's make it make, let's make the blur two. Let's make the Y axis one. You can see there's a little bit of a shadow there now. So let's just leave this at maybe 30%. Let's zoom out and see, does it look like it comes up a little bit? Perfect, that's exactly what we want guys. Exactly what we want. So if you appreciate the exact formula to creating this perfect glass morph morphism card, feel free to gently smash that like button. So Command D or Control D if you're on the Windows. Let's just move a little bit of text down here. Let's put in some fake numbers. I don't know, guys, what's your favorite number? My num favorite number is six. So six, 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 six. All right, guys, that's it. Let's just move this up a little bit. Perfect. And pretty much that's what you want to make it look like. All right. So feel free to make this a little bit larger. Maybe you make that 18. Feel free to play around with it. But here you go. You have made and created your very first glass morphism card that looks stunning. So guys, if you appreciate this very quick tutorial, please gently smash that like button. And I would love to know where are you going to be using this effect in a design? Oh, and by the way, if you want to make sure that this effect really does, in client words, pop, you want to make sure that you have a nice little blurry gradient in the background. And that's the reason why I've used this effect. This, these gradients is because it really does reinforce and bring through that nice glossy looking feeling. So guys, my light just ran out of battery, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to stick around to the end because YouTube will probably most likely recommend you another video that you will find very insightful and very valuable. All right guys, I'll see you in another video very soon.